So well, here's here's the thing I've been thinking over the years uh, about seeing people working and doing things. You know, uh, our humanity is being stolen. Human being, in order to be a human being, he needs to create, he needs to do things with his hands. If he's not using his hands, he becomes something else, something unnatural. Yeah, we something, become something that becomes a robot that just eats, sleep, work, eats, sleep, work, eats, sleep, work, and it has this immense emptiness inside because of this lack of creation. So if we go ahead and, uh, and start stimulating this creation, you know, you human beings used to be able to create everything they needed to survive. If you take an average human right now and you put it in the middle of the woods, in the far, far, far enough away from anywhere, he's probably gonna could die. <laughs> No, he won't be able to make anything. And if you give him a simple tool like a knife, he won't be able to use this knife to to get around. This knowledge has just been lost, you know? Just, you know, gone with the wind. <laughs> so, it's not just a, a matter of uh, the recycling the paper itself, so, but the whole consciousness he creates and the whole alternative thinking is starts creating in the children. And the, the solution, I mean, we won't be the solution. There's nothing we can do, because we are very few. But if we manage to educate the children of the generation below us and make them conscious about the things that we gain consciousness a lot later in our life, then, uh, then we might have a chance of, of, of getting a result. When kids uh, learn something, they have an eagerness to apply it. It's, it's them, it's the children. And we need to be able to educate them, and we need to be able to change this fucking programming that the system gives them. You know, all this thing they teach them in school, it's really, really a bunch of <laughs> So, it's, uh, it's through them, you know? Through them. <laughs> Who knows? Let's try to make, put a little grain of salt. And if we all start doing one little grain of salt here, one little grain of salt there, we'll have a big pile of a sudden. And we're gonna have some really nice, tasty life. One thing is for sure, everything will collapse. Sometimes I doubt in the ability of humankind, you know, to reorganize everything, you know, because it, it was quite fucked, man. I don't know why the history of humankind is such a mess, you know? I don't know why they chose, you know, Christianity, killing everyone, wars everywhere. But I guess we are just like little children. We had to grow up, you know? When I was a kid, I was fighting for my toys all the time. Now I don't do it so much. So I guess eventually humankind well, will... I, like, there was one guy that said, there's not even one adult living in the world, like, not even one. We are all babies, man. No one knows anything, and until, you know, the big change comes, we don't even know what we are supposed to be, like, what's the true potential of humankind, you know? But for sure, I believe that our, everyone's dream will come true at the same time, man, and it will be so over overwhelming that we won't know what to do, you know? Like, I don't know, I guess we will be able to finally relax and enjoy existence. I don't know how it will be, but it's impossible it doesn't end like this. I truly believe in the idea of McKenna that we will wake up in, in the imagination, in the fifth dimension, you know, like, in the dream will stop being different from reality. Or not. <laughs> but who knows, man.